<clears throat> okay, now we get up to a very, very interesting bout in the lightweight division between Hanato Moikano and Drew Dober. I'm very Such interested to fight. see uh, where the two of you are picking this fight. It's hard I, one. Yeah, it's yeah. a real fun one. And uh, I've thought about it quite a bit, and I'm like, God damn, this is a super interesting lightweight fight. So here we go, Moikano. The very quotable 34-year-old out of Brazil, 17 and 5 with one draw. 10 submission victories on his record uh, of a little bit of note. Uh, zero wins by knockout or TKO out of out of uh, his 17 win career. He has never knocked anybody out among the professional ranks. Uh <clears throat> even though he I think of him as having like decent stinging power. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, most recently, he he submitted Brad Riddell back in November of 2022. So a bit of a layoff for Moicano. Glad to see him back in the cage this weekend. And he'll be taking on the very popular and very tough Drew Dober, the 35, 35-year-old out of Omaha, Nebraska, USA. His pro record coming into this weekend, 27 wins, 12 defeats, and one no contest. Out of his 27 wins, only seven have gone to the scorecards. He has six wins by submission and 14 by knockout or TKO. Probably one of the heaviest hitters among the lightweight ranks. Most recently, he knocked out Ricky Glenn in the very first round back in October. I'll go first. Uh, I think this fight is super, super interesting and I have gone back and forth quite a bit because I could see these are two guys that don't give a fuck. <laughs> we know <laughs> Moicano doesn't give a fuck, right? But we also know that Drew Dober will stand toe-to-toe with literally anybody because he has a great power that he trusts, and he also has a giant granite head that he also trusts a lot. So I think it is possible that Moicano could sting him and stop him, but I just think that on uh, paper, I think that Drew Dober is should be uh, the more talented guy, and I'm I'm gonna go with Drew Dober. I'll say Drew Dober gets another one over Moicano. Uh, I'll say he knocks him out. I'll say round one. Why not? Wow, Omar, you go. Uh, I think this is actually gonna be. I think this is gonna be fight of the night. I think this is gonna be a barn burner. I think these guys are, are are I think this is gonna go back and forth. Um this is gonna be one of those one one going into the third kind of situations, I I believe. And I think Drew Dober does end up winning. I do I, I think that once we get into the third round, I think Drew Dober I trust Drew Dober to be a little bit fresher, even when he's damaged to hell. Um and I think he'll end up with a win here, man. I think he's gonna end up with a nice finish, and I think it'll be a TKO victory for Drew Dober round in three. The third. Mm -hmm. Wow, Mark. All right, so you guys are both on the dog. Drew Dober is a plus 145 underdog, and Moicano is minus 180 as the favorite, Um, which is is a little wider than I thought. Like 145 sounds reasonable. 180 sounds like 180 is, yeah. Yeah. Um, The size is with Moicano. He's three inches taller. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. And yeah, I love both of these guys, and I, I think they're both super legit, so it, it pains me to pick against one of them here. I kind of wish they were each getting a crack at someone else to try to break through here. It sucks that one of them has to get turned back, um, but I will be the differentiator here, and I will go with Hanato Moicano. Uh, I would have been more confident in it if it wasn't for this 14-month layoff. I really don't love that aspect, um, but I, I'm still going to go with him, the concern, obviously, is Drew Dober's hands. He throws bombs, and Moicano has had times in his career where he's just super open and vulnerable to big shots. But it does seem like he's moved past that lately. Honestly, since he moved up to 155, it it seems like that issue has kind of gone away. So maybe it was just a circumstance of cutting too much weight. Um, you know, now we're seeing him outstrike strikers like Brad Riddell. Like he, he, he won that fight by submission, but he was out striking him before yep. the submission. So he, he has certainly upped his game and it seems like his, his chin has been 
better at 155 to the point that he can safely be in these more violent exchanges that maybe at 145 he couldn't risk as much. Now, will that matter against the power of Drew Dober? We will see. Um, but I, I just think all in all, when you have a guy who's gotten as good as Moicano has on the feet, who I believe can match Dober there or at least come close to it, and then you factor in what a big grappling advantage he's going to have, I can't ignore that. Now, getting Dober into a grappling situation may be a big ask, but I just feel like it's going to be a crazy fight. And like, I'm not saying it's going to be some clean takedown, but I just think there'll be a moment or two of like off balance, big exchanges, things like that, where they're, they clinch and Moicano can take it back or who knows what. So I think all in all, I'm, I'm going to go that way. I don't, I don't think I'm saying he catches Dober, um, but I think that well-roundedness will just allow him to adjust when he needs to and maybe dictate a bit more of the fight. So I will go with Moicano to win a decision in what is hopefully a, a close back and forth scrap. Okay. Dog, the people that have submitted Drew Dober have been Islam Mahashev, Benil Dariush, Olivier Alban Mercier, Efrain Escudero. And that's it. I mean, McConnell's belongs on that level, though. His jits is nasty. It's not bad.